Hi everybody, this is Bronwyn Scrivens here for Warehouse Crush Wednesday. Today I'm going to do a real quick video on loading doors, just like this one pictured behind me. So typically there's two types of loading doors, the dog level door and the grade level door. And I'm going to take you outside to show you the difference between these two different types of doors and the medium ground between the two, which is a ramp to grade door. So hold that thought, I'll see you outside. Okay, so this is a grade loading door and as you can see, it's flush to the ground so that a truck or a forklift or a vehicle can pull straight into the bay. This is important for any type of service user, any type of trucking company, hydrovac, um, anyone, forklifts, anyone that needs to actually drive in and out of the bay. They generally run 12 foot wide, 14 foot tall or 14 foot wide, 16 foot tall. In some of the bigger buildings they'll be quite large, 18 or 20 feet uh, for the bigger equipment, but this is a pretty typical grade loading door and size. Okay, now this is a dock level loading door. This door is generally speaking about 48 inches off of the ground, which is a typical semi or large loading truck height. Um, they generally range, they're usually about 8 feet wide by 10 feet tall and actually if you look at the panels in the door, each door panel is 2 feet tall. So you can actually count the height of any loading door by just counting the panels. They should be two feet tall. Now this is a dock loading leveler because semis sometimes come in different heights and so the leveler helps to make sure that the ground is very even for a forklift or human to walk in and out of depending on the size of the truck. This door over here is also a dock level loading door. As you can see it's still at the same height as this door but it's got a ramp that's made it a grade door so that it so they can have a truck deck or a vehicle or, or a forklift that drives straight into the bay. You'll often see this in buildings that were designed to be dock level loading, but if a tenant needs a grade level loading, this is a good way to fix it that's pretty cost effective as opposed to trying and adding a concrete slab or a concrete ramp. All right, so now you know the difference between a dock door, a grade door, the different types of user groups that use or need each of those types of doors, and why this is such a big component of industrial real estate development. That is all for this week, and I will see you guys next week for Warehouse Crush Wednesday. I'm Broadman Scrivens.